their children to the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. Um, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and I'm going to introduce them. I'm going to give them the mic so they can introduce their families to you before we get started. Hello, my name is Darwin Ballas. This is Chase Ballas. This is Jeremiah. <coughs> I mean, Jada Reeves. <laughs> Sorry. Age is five, six, and this is Jeremiah. Um, this is one years old. Hey, <laughs> sorry, I'm shy. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brandon. Nervous. This is Marley. This is Christian. Aww. They're getting dedicated. This is my wife, Bonnie. Hello. Good morning. Uh, my name is Romano Nazario. This is my wife, Elizabeth. This is my oldest daughter, Marcel. She'll be seven <coughs> next Saturday. Aww. And this is my youngest daughter, Rachel, and she's five. As per se, you know, in, in the Bible, we really don't have a story as far as um, doing a ceremony, but we do have a couple examples about the children. And two examples, one is Anna, where she dedicated her son. She made a vow to the Lord. She says, if you give me a son, I will give him to you all the days of his life. And of course, we also know about Mary and Joseph, where they presented Jesus Christ, the baby Jesus Christ in Jerusalem to the Lord. Now, this dedication act, this is to recognize the authority of Jesus Christ. And this is a public statement that these parents will train up their child in the Christian faith and instill in them the Lord of Christ. Yes. So parents, do you promise that you will love your child or your children more than your own life? Will you pray with them and for them? Will you instruct them faithfully in the doctrines of the Christian faith? Will you teach them the Word of God and how to read the Word of God? Will you pray and teach them how to pray and lead them in a holy life? Will you take them to the house of worship, the church, and attend its services? And will you do all that is in your power to bring them to the knowledge of Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord? And your answer is? I will. I pronounce you man and family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's great. I thought that was great. They said I will. They didn't know that, you know. So now I turn to you, the church. And I ask this. As a church, we bear the responsibility to these families. Will you pray for them? Will you encourage them as they grow together? And do all that is in your power to assist the children coming to know Jesus as their Savior and Lord. If you will make that covenant with this family, will you please stand up so we can pray for them? Looks like everybody's ready, huh? All right, let's stretch out our hands as we pray. Leaders, pastors, can you please anoint the children as we as we pray for? Dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you. Lord God, what an awesome day, Lord God, as we present the children to you. Lord God, we are asking you as parents to help us raise our children. Now they become your children, Lord God. Give us the wisdom to use the knowledge that we have learned from you to raise them up correctly. Give us the strength never to give up, but to faithfully seek your kingdom first on making decisions for our children. We ask, Lord God, that you you will always be there for us as we cry out to you. Because we know now, Lord God, that these children belong to you. And our responsibility as parents has been to raise them the best we can 
to do everything that we can while we're in this world so that way they can receive you as their Savior and Lord. And Lord, I bring to you Jada, Chase, Jeremiah, Marley, Christian, Rochelle, and Mercer. I dedicate them to you, Lord. May you bring joy to their hearts. May you keep them healthy and strong. May you send the angels, their angels, their personal angels to watch over them and protect them all the days of their life. Wherever they go, whether they're in school or playing with their friends, continue to bring those friends that will continue to encourage them and the families to, to always obey them as well as to always seek God, to know God loves them. God loves them and he wants them to be healthy, strong, and prosperous in this world. So that way the day will come when they will become uh, uh, just an army of children faithfully and obedient to seeking and building the kingdom of this world. In Jesus' name, we all prayed and said, Amen! Amen! Amen. Congratulations. You may go. You may be seated. Thank you.